Royce here, back for another Forza Juve Football Manager 2016 a beta save. And a few things have happened since I last saw you. So, let's note, the last time I saw you was the AC Milan game. Since then, a 1-0 win against Carpi, who are really surprising everyone in the league, you know. They were top four at one point, and they've only just come up. We've got CSKA Moscow, who we beat in the Champions League 2-1. Dybala and Mandzukic scoring a 91st minute winner. That was incredible. Napoli, we beat them 3-2. Hernandez scores after 15 seconds. Then, 8 minutes later, elbow someone to the face. It's a red card. We're struggling down to 10 men. Albiol scores for them. Dybala scores for us. Dennis Digmeyer accidentally scores his own goal, but then Dybala rounds it off in the 89th minute. And then a 2-1 win against Bologna. Dybala scoring the first, Matteo Destro scoring for them, and then Alexandro scoring his first ever goal for the club to make it 2-1. Today's game against Frosinone, and this is the starting lineup. Neto in goal, that is correct. Buffon tired, not injured. Tired, so he's having a rest because in a few days' time we do have the second game against CSKA Moscow. And the back four will be Dickmeyer, Chiellini, Regani, Sandro. The midfield four will be Quadrado, Lamina, Storaro, Evra, and Pereira. And Mandzukic will play the top two. So, a bit of a rotated side, you know, half first team, half the uh, the depth. But I'm sure we could. Uh, Get a win here today against a frozen known eight. We we expect a win. Whether it happens or not is another question, but I'm sure our team is strong enough because we're in a great run of form. First half of the game, eight minutes through. Here we go. Lamina Quadrado. What's he gonna do? He runs, can't find anyone though. Pavlovich, Paganini. That's interesting name, Paganini. Castillo. Um Dionisi looks like they are attack attacking. Storaro does get the tackling, but Gori picks up the ball. Dionisi, can he find the player? No, Chiellini, great interception there. Mandzukic can't get there. Sandro, Lamina, Storaro, working in the middle now. Pereira, can he find anyone? No, he decides to hold it up. He carries it a lot, actually. Pereira, having a good run, finds open Storaro. Lamina, back to Quadrado. Is he, he cuts down the line. Head, oh... Lamina, Pereira, shoot! It's a goal! Pereira has scored. It's been nine and a half minutes. Pereira doing a job there. It's 1-0. We're beating Frosinone. That's a great start to the match, I'll tell you that. That's exciting. Quadrado, ball in. Russo clears. Lamina, Pereira turns, shoots. Keeper is struggling there, but you know what do you expect? We are Juventus. We are the Italian Giants. Another highlight. It's so quick, it's ridiculous. Gori, Castillo, Dianossi scores for Frosinone. Our lead has not lasted very long at all. And that's a disappointing goal to concede, I will tell you that. But I'm sure we can get one back. Here you go, Guccia. Gori finds Castillo, plays it. Dianossi and great, great strike. Neto, unfortunate there, mate. The, you, there will always be next time, though. Another highlight corner. Pereira, ball in, Mandzukic. Now, can he find someone? Storaro plays across Quadrado, cuts in, Mandzukic. Surely that's a headed goal. Mandzukic makes it 2 1. It's his fifth goal of the season. He did ask to play first team football. I have given him first team football, and he has rewarded us with the goal. So he initially started the move, made a good run. Quadrado finds him, Mandzukic. Oh, that's surprising. That's a flying volley, I'll call it, because he was. He was in the air. Another highlight, Castillo now for Frosinone. Paganini plays to Guccia. That's a strike. It's hit the bar. Oh my god. Another highlight. Highlight after highlight. This is getting ridiculous. These episodes are going to be way too long the way things are going. Chiellini, Pereira, Quadrado. Now, can you find the wing? He's made a good run there. Quadrado finds Manzukic from post. But Lili does make the save. Manzukic, that could be two, mate. Unfortunately, though, you've still got one. We're still winning. You're lucky. And it's half time already. We are winning 2 1. We're going to tell the boys calmly that they are doing well. Keep it up. And let's push on in the second half.
First highlight of the second half, Chiellini, Digmeyer, Lamina, Quadrado, Shawley, ball in, can't find Manzuki, so Quadrado collects again, second efforts, can't get there. Third time lucky, he's tackled, Ever back post, shoots, Quadrado, Shawley, nearly walks the ball into the net, Quadrado has scored his second goal of the season, he is looking to be a good signing so far. Um... But what else can I say, you know, Quadrado proving why he should have been playing at Chelsea. But instead, he's found his way back into Italian football. Chests it down, walks it in, and just taps it into the goal. It's 3-1. Let's shut up shop. Or not, because we do have another highlight. Looks like Frosinone on the attack. Neto, good save. Can he get the second one? No, he cannot. It is 3-2. And Luca Paganini has scored. That is not good. It's only it's only 55 minutes. Fresnone can still come back. Neto, that is a terrible save. But Paganini, oh Neto, come on mate. Neto, you need to be doing better. I know you're not the best goalkeeper. 65 minutes in, let's make some changes. We do have the CSKA Moscow game very shortly. Lamina's not registered, so that doesn't matter. Pereira is registered. He is going to have to come off. And Crank Jar can take his spot. Also, Chiellini, not too bad. Rugani, not too bad. Quadrado is going to play that game. Padawin can come in for him. So, two subs. Let's see if they can make an impact. 85 minutes. 84, really. But another highlight here. Castillo. Looks like uh, Frosinone are going on the attack here. That is threatening. Hopefully, we can win the ball back and get an attack of our own. Castillo, Dinossi, great work, Digma, you need to clear that, mate, get rid of it. There you go. Unfortunately, nothing coming for us. And let's make a quick change while we are here. Who is going to come on? Could it be Marquisio? He looks like he needs a game. Morata, Mandzukic, that's a good swap. Let's play the last five minutes plus of the game and see what we can do. That's it, the full-time whistle will be blown in three, two, one, zero, game. We've beaten Frosinone. That extends our run of games to... I couldn't even tell you, to be honest. It's it's a thrashing. In the league now, 11 played, 10-1, one, 1 drawn, 31 points from a possible 33. Yes, Lazio do have a game in hand, but even if they win that, we are still four points clear. I have got two achievements here, scoring streak and unbeatable. I will check those out later. But as I said, we will join you for the Champions League game. Time for our second game against CSKA Moscow. Buffon starts in goal. Casares, Chiellini, Barzagli and Sandro are the back four. Quadrado, Pogba, Storaro and Azamola are in the middle. Pereira and Dybala up front. So let's get into our fourth game in the Champions League. And if you do see the table on the right hand side... Porto, three wins, uh, three games, two wins, a draw. They're, they're beating us by one point. If we beat CSKA Moscow today, we can go five points clear of them. And then if we are five points clear, we could easily qualify for the knockout phase as the second seed. I want the first seed. I'm happy with the second seed. We need to get through to the next phase. So let's do that today. First highlight, 26 minutes in. Feels like it's been forever since I last spoke, but here we go. Milanov shoots Buffon with the save there. So the only highlight we've had of the game was really a waste of time. But you know, it's nil all going into half time. I can't really complain about that. I do think we should have scored, but we are defending quite well, which is something I'm really happy about. So let's see if we can push on in the second half. Here we go, highlight Pereira. Many people in the box. Alexandro shoots, but Akinfee does make a good save. He's quite a goalkeeper, isn't he? Alexandro, ball in, can't find anyone. It only finds Schnekov. I think that's his name. And here's our next highlight. Sandro, no, Storaro, sorry. Dybala. Good run there from him. Can he find the box? He does. Finds Quadrado at the back post. Pogba now collecting. Chiellini. What's he going to do? He starts to build of play. Pogba, Casares. Can he find Quadrado? He does. Now he plays it in. Nothing doing there. So Pogba gets it back. Azamoa, switch of play. Azamoa cuts around one, shoots, but is deflected. Quadrado, Pereira, shoots, son. He does. 
We're beating CSKA Moscow. It's 1-0. And this could boost our chances into the next phase of the Champions League. That is a relief. Absolute relief. Let's go to Moscow and see what's happened. Quadraro. Just short ball to Pereira. He takes on one. Takes on two, really. I don't know how he scored that, but I will take that any day of the week. 68 minutes played. Let's make some subs. So, Storaro looking tired. Marquisio on. Marquisio swap for Pogba. Pogba doesn't really suit the ball-winning midfielder role. So, I'll tell you what. Maybe we play Marquisio as a, a box-to-box -box midfielder. That will help out a bit there. Also, we want to bring on one more player. 70th minute. Dybala can come off. We'll bring on Simeone Zaza in the complete forward support role. Let's see if he can score another goal for the club. And an instant highlight from that too. Na Na Nacho Natko finds Buffon. Is that the end of that highlight? It possibly could be. But it's not. Buffon finds Azamoa. Alexandro can't find Dybala. Natko Nabavikin. Finds Natko. I really don't like these names. Eremenko, Pogba, great, great interception. Pogba again. Azamoa, Storaro. Alexandro finding some build up play. Dybala's wide. He's all alone. Can he find someone? He finds Azamoa. Does he play it in? Oh no, he's, he's lost the ball there. Now, looks like Sedu Dumbia on the ball. He is rapid, but he can't do anything with it. 80 minutes played, let's make our last sub now. Barzagli tired, Benucci on, he can play the last couple. Let's see if we can really defend out this game. We do have a high, though, 84 minutes. Could CSKA really hurt us here, or could we put a nail in the coffin? Buffon, great save. Pogba, West Wernbloom does make the foul. And now a highlight for us straight away. Alexandro finds Benucci. Pogba, come on, go wide. Quadrado, rapid, pass it in. Come on, back post, Azamoa. It's 2-0. That is the nail in the coffin. It is a 2-0 win. I'm calling it a win already. We might score, they might score, but we've won. Surely, that is it for this game. Azamoa, wide open at the back post, on the half volley, beats Akinfeev. Nothing wrong with that. Time has ticked away. We have 15 seconds left on the clock. Zaza, Pogba, Azamoa. Surely nothing coming from this. Azamoa shoots. He wastes the time. And it is game over. We have beaten CSKA Moscow 2-0 at home. We are a very, a very passionate. Let's see where that leaves us on the table. What has happened with Porto and Munchengladbach? Porto have won. So it sees Porto still on 10 points. We are on 9. Moscow on 4. Borussia, Munchengladbach are officially out they cannot finish in the top two so it's a three horse race if we can beat porto we can win the group stage so let's have to find out about that apparently we are on fire that's what my achievement says but schedule wise look at all the green 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 porto is the next game i will play against porto for you guys and maybe i will do the roma match as well but that is it for today's episode. Don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed the run of form we are having. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Football Manager 2016 content. And I'll catch you guys on another Football Manager video.